Nine seconds, it says, to put this up. Nine seconds. Well, we'd better throw our timer on the bottom there and give it a go. One, two, three. That was longer than nine seconds. Hey, welcome back. And if it's your first time here, just welcome. Today, I'm looking at this. This is the KNF Concept D254C1 Travel Tripod. Comes in a nice case. Now, I don't know why tripods are always called after droids from Star Wars, but you know, each their own. So this is a travel tripod form factor. So the legs come folded over where the central column is. You fold those down, open them up, in longer than nine seconds. I mean, who in their right mind needs to put a tripod up in nine seconds? No one, unless there's some sort of weird competition where you have to put the tripod up as quick as you possibly can. So the ground's not really even. And then you've got this column there that you can move that up and down to the desired height. Now if, like me, your normal height, it's a perfect height. When it's all set up, you can stand there and take pictures. If you're abnormally tall, like people that are, you know, five foot seven, five foot eight, giants like six footers, you might have a bit of problem because you're gonna have to bend down. But it's a nice lightweight tripod. Reason is these legs are carbon fiber. So it's nice and light. It's got a central column, which is also carbon fiber, but all the important bits are metal. So you've got a ball head, which comes off. You've got the clips on the top of the legs there, are metal, as are the bits that they go in. All of this is metal, all of this is metal. The feet have metal screws and a rubberized bottom, so they can also be adjusted for a bit of micro adjustment. The clips are plastic, but they're a quite sturdy plastic. One key component, it comes with a hook. So if it's a windy day or you're over mud and you want to keep the tripod really steady, you've got a hook to hook your bag. Perfect. Hang on a minute, you may be thinking, this guy uses a lot of KNF Concept stuff. Is he sponsored by them? Do they pay him? Well, no. A couple of years ago, I bought a variable neutral density filter from them and they liked it so much that they, every so often, they asked me to review certain bits of kit. Now, I don't like to do product placement, but you know, sometimes it happens. So where are we today? This is the town of Foy and I'm actually at the English Heritage Managed St. Catherine's Castle doing a bit of volunteer photography for them. So come with me to photograph this beautiful location and we'll give this a bit of a run for its money. So let's talk about sticking a camera on here. This tripod is rated to 1.35 kilograms. Now I could just throw a little Sony on here or a little Canon, something like that, and it would be absolutely fine. It's got no problems holding that sort of weight at all. But my camera weighs slightly more. Mine weighs 1.5 kilograms. So that is what I'm gonna test this tripod with. So this comes with a, a little plate that goes on the bottom and it's got one of those little flippy out things. Now it's a simple case of undoing the head Clipping that in, tightening that up. It's pretty sturdy. So let's get using it. So super lightweight, super versatile, and a joy to use. Now let's run through some of the features. Obviously it's a tripod, so it's got legs. That's a given. The ball head has a little adjuster there, and on the actual head, it's got 
the markings of the compass, the degrees. So you, if you wanted to do a panorama, for example, all you need to do, set your first point on zero, and then depending on your lens, you can move it in different increments. The tripod head is not just a screw on or a, or a clip in, you've actually got a little bit of movement in there. So if you want to do, to just do a bit of fine adjustment to get your nodal point, it won't work on this camera, but it will on other cameras. You've actually got about five centimeters of travel there. The other thing it will do, it will take these adjustable brackets and that will just slide in there. And then you can adjust it moving this way and you can adjust it moving this way to find the nodal point so you can do panoramas. So if you want to do a bit of video, I would probably use a better camera for video, but the head, once you've got it straight, this bit here has a nice fluidity to it. I like that word, fluid, fluidity. So it's nice and smooth, so you can do a nice smooth pan. Should you want to do that sort of thing. Being a ball head, you can also move the camera in every direction and it's got a little part for you to do portrait shots. That tightens up, that tightens up and we're pretty sturdy actually even though we're oversized and overweight and if I put this on an angle if you want to do those weird angle shots. Another thing this tripod allows me to do is see here that says detachable monopod detachable leg don't put it down now you'll ruin your camera so the ball head comes off and you got yourself all right it's not the tallest monopod in the world but if you like if you're normal height like me it's not too bad and you've actually got the opportunity to take pictures of yachts in the distance. Another feature, which is always a bonus on any tripod, is this one has the ability, this bit unscrews. Be careful you don't lose the little O-ring. In fact, put it in your pocket. This bit then comes off and you can then make sure that's tight because otherwise your camera drops out. And then you can bring it down and the camera can be made to go down almost to the ground. I say almost because uh, you can get it right down to the ground if you just adjust the legs. This thing is absolutely brilliant. It's so light, you can carry it around all day and photograph an entire location and not get tired. So you've got a, a, a little bubble measure here that you can adjust to get it dead in the center, especially good for panoramas. What I would have liked to have seen is one that when you it vertical you've got another little bubble measure on here so you can actually get that level as well but you know first world problems so what do i think of this tripod well it's a tripod it holds a camera up but it does it very well it's got metal bits where there should be metal bits plastic where there doesn't need to be metal to keep the weight down carbon fiber legs which are nice and strong very well put together it's got the hook on the bottom which is very important for windy days and uh, when you want to keep the camera steady or you want to keep your bag off the floor it's got a lovely ball head it's very strong it handled my camera absolutely perfectly there was no there's no wobble or anything like that well till I undo that there's no wobble everything's nice and sturdy and it basically it does what it says on the tin plus you've got the detachable monopod 
and it's a very light form factor, very easy to use, and really I can't fault it. So if you want to pick one of these up, KNF Concept have been nice enough to actually give me a discount code, so you can uh, pick one of these up with a bit of a discount if you follow the link in my description box. So, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.